Hello everybody, my name is Sean Glitch and I'm back and fired up to continue my adventure through Horizon Zero Dawn. When last we left off, we found we were we were investigating Ur Urza's death, uh, found out she wa she wasn't dead and wasn't killed by by Shadow Carger like it like it was first thought, uh, but a by some renegade Osaram led by a Derval who also who helped with the taking over a Viridian from the 13th King to the 14th King. Um, and we found, we found her, and we found Aaron's sister, and she died. And as you can imagine, uh, Aaron isn't too, too pleased. And also, Derval's planning an attack on the city to end, and from what, from his, from the words from his, his journal, he's going to make the Sun King watch his, Radiant burn. So yeah. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all that later. Aloy. But I thought we, we I thought they were still saying she was dead. I mean, do you guys really have to change any plans? We wasn't sure if she was alive, and we just found her alive, but now she's dead. For sure. <clears throat> but anyway, about kicking Durval's ass. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about her, son. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Erend, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. Yeah, it's fine, Aaron. I'm probably going to get to him first and have to deal with him when anyway. Spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? See, I'm not trying to talk too much because it's an emotional mo moment, and of course we're going to be, be nice about it and not say this isn't the time, or is that what you, you're really asking? Um, we're just going to say she thought of you, which you know she was, also the, but more sake for the safety of the city, but eh, we all know the everything. thing. She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother, and she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. All right, then. Yeah, hey, we're here. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. It's called a cook, kick in the ass for the kick for the door. I messed that up. I know. See, this is why I'm not. I'm not doing this because when it comes to high emotion moments, I can't. I can't make jokes. Is it a bomb? I make a mess of a joke. Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Yes, please. So I can. So I can examine this and get this apart, and get through this thing. Set it off. 
that to, oh. I do imagine that that's the bigger problem right there. That's a lot of blaze. Yes. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. The smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's there's got to be a way to stop it. Well, since he was the the kind of dumbass that put this by a door, which if I'm not mistaken, literally goes out to nowhere. Not very strong. Okay, yeah. Once again. Yeah, door to fuck off nowhere, but down there, which actually still pretty, I hope this stuff doesn't go off when, when it hits the ground, because that's still going to be pretty fucking bad in, in terms of the city, or whoever's down there right now. Hope it doesn't go off. Yeah, come on. Come on, protagonist strength activate. Okay. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Yeah, I'll just blow the fuck out of a, a little corner. It won't do any damage. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. No, oh, please, Gail. You can survive anything. Okay, yup, that shit blew up. Uh, well, hope no one is down there. <laughs> We did it! Durval's best shot. The Meridian's still standing. This is over. Yup, except for that, 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 that one little corner. Fuck no whoever's way. down there. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. from the edge of the mesa are we under attack ah it's just fine we just blew up a, a small corner of the of the of meridian i'm sure it won't it'll mess with its stability the oh and you know who cares about who whoever's down there Durval's hideouts? this must be where Durval assembled the detonator uh, i see the tunnels through the wall Durval did find a way into the palace oh shit okay then And no, don't know why there was no, there was no complaints about freaking drilling in, in the, I don't know if they were drilling, but they had to do something pretty loud to break through that, that wall. No oh, shit, I just remember, remembered that I, that I forgot to, forgot to change my outfit. So, you know, uh, that might work out for me since I might have to change my appearance depending on on who spreads the word about blowing up that corner of this of the city which you know no one saw me there it was mostly just the guard who would notice a a banuk looking wom woman in in a crowd of Osram men with the blue and uh, the blue cloth and brown armor clashing not at all and I was supposed to zip line there, but fuck it, I, I've got stuff that resists the cold. I'm I sure I can handle some might some god on his knees. Not before you're on your knees in the water, making a bunch of splash effects that don't really make sense. Yeah, stabby. Seriously, that guy was like a geyser. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling. Front of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. Well, I mean, There's you got earplugs on right now, so. Edge. No, it should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner. How does that work, though? Being the fact that you have earplugs on, that you can hear each other. Is this like some sort of 
earpiece that also allows you to you know, only allows like like ear communication ear communication Fuck another. No need for logic. Just simply smashing what what's making a noise and making sure everyone's all right. Like always, Haley has to take care of the problem herself. What's this? Oh, you must be the, the person who's gonna kick your ass mentioned. and already disabled your plans, disabled bitch. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. And I'm gonna splatter your blood right where you're standing before you even get up here, bitch. Here, the girl! Hooey! Bow! Fuck! Can we finish this? Ow! I've got a sun gun. Fuck it. Okay. Like I said, I can. Fuck her! Okay, okay, okay. I've led an army. I've killed minstrels and rabbits. And I've killed machines five times your size! Think. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Maybe we are not thinking of this at the best. Uh, best way. No, that's not the wrong. That was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. Boom. Hey, come over here, dumbass. I've got a sun god to kill. Yeah, and I've got your ass to ground. Three. Oh god, that goddamn ridiculous damage. I forgot about it. Ow! Ow, you dicks. You dicks. I'm going to shoot you with my hard point arrows and you're going to go down. Because you guys ain't shit compared to Aloy, who can take like five arrows to the head. Any good Osiran Tinker will tell you. That inevitably means your death as well. Because last time a guy was holding one of those thi things, it didn't really exactly work out for him. This little device will summon more machines. You mean the device you're holding right now and is on? <laughs> yep, dumb fucker. <laughs> Despite the fact of him thinking that that was going to take care of all his problems. And, but of course, like it attracts my favorite creatures. Aha! And I'm all about out of my, of my goddamn healing herbs. Fuck. Okay, now I'm glad I didn't change my armor. I need that resist to frost damage, and you need to not dodge my arrows, but get to the fucking ground. Have a nice trip. I was hoping he'd go over the edge, but this will do. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ha. Oh. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. You're dead. Okay. 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 Clutch my my thing, my things. Because I do believe once it's mission nowhere, they'll just simply deload right between the best breastplates. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it! I'd rather you didn't fall right there, but I'm just fucking stop shooting, bird! I swear to God, you're next. Whoever's shooting ice at me. Ow! God fucking damn it! Die! Oh, 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 that was some neo dodging of ice, of ice blast. Blasticles. Blasticles. You. You. I just want to collect my kill. Why won't it let me search? No, no, do not fall over. Okay, got it. Now you can fall over. Bye! Casual. Never mind. We're killing these things. And should do it much faster because I am getting very close to dying. Just stand. Oh, oh, that one's going straight down. That one. Drop down. Drop down, you bastard! Get the. 
fuck out of here, you piece of shit. Oh, 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 oh. you rocket defying bastards. Of course, now he goes over with the freaking scrap. There's logic in this game doesn't want me to gain anything from my kills. Woo! Oh, only when it's convenient for the freaking machine animals. Does it work out? But not right now, since you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! Then I guess leave it to the other tribes. Because <laughs> Zord knows they'll take their time making sure it's just right. What you are afraid of. Going back to mainspring and chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. You got knocked the fuck out. Sorry, I had to say it. It just felt, it, it, I'm sorry, it's like at that moment I just had, I, I just feel, felt like it, I had to say it for Aaron's sake, you know, for the Osram's sake. I feel like they're the kind of tribe who, who would say that shit if they knew, if they knew the phrase. Alright, so we got multiple people to talk to. We got freaking Avad, Aaron, and Durval, optional. Even though it is literally just this. Uh, being in prison, contemplating wh why you're why you're such a bitch about most things. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So don't know why that's an option. Doesn't doesn't really put any any light on anything he did. I mean, there are, there are plenty of things that already do, but you know, after see how many potential conversations about you can have about stuff. Considering the amount of detail they put in, into the stories, Everyone surprised they didn't really put anything there where you can actually have a conversation with the dude who did all this, this to cause this pair of, this side quest, say, side main quest, because you know you still have to do it at some point, you know, pertaining to, to like the main stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show, show them a bit more of that. But anyway, now we talk to the important people. First of all, then Aaron, because we started the quest of Aaron, we're going to end with Aaron. What's up, Sun King? Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. Yeah, I'll become and a casual you, thing. there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the earth is my is my home and I'm gonna see every single inch of it. But but you know, it'll, it's a nice place. I'll I'll probably ca catch by, maybe take a take a night or two. Yeah, for some big war or something in the future maybe. Who knows? Uh you and Ursa though. Ursa though. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose a thing? it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice; she gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Which I do believe is bullshit, but okay. Oh. Terrible. Right. He wanted her, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. 
All right. So, can we get anything else on Dervo? What exactly? Will come say stuff. <laughs> For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the sun ring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. Damn. What a waste. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Ooh, that is a thing, thing to think about, but hey man, not your fault. Tuck, you took care, care, care of the bastard. And now it's your, it's your job to make sure people like that don't get ruined by themselves because of other people's con choices. Um, so consider staying. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that I'm pretty sure it's obvious, Aloy. Not to me. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. That's one. You were strong, shrewd, Two, three, and, and capable. Four. And also you got I you like me? Use someone like you at my side. <laughs> and of course the harsh thing is to say is like you used Urza. <laughs> no, we are not gonna be like that, though it is definitely not exactly the best thing to do right as we find out she's actually dead and you know it's not hasn't been too long since that whole fear came into the equation and maybe we should talk, take a bit bit to let our emotions calm down and yes Aloy is a badass but not one you should simply approach with your with your affection especially after she she found out that we murdered your your secret secret loves secret love yep that's the best answer thank you for the offer but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's gonna take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman. Just as Ursa was. But please. Yep, would've been nice to get to know her, but no, just find out she's alive and then dead. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us. Not a goodbye. Yeah, I'll maybe be sure to call in a favor sometime later in the future. Maybe that's something, something that could that could collapse the world. Yeah, who knows? It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Well, I thank you, my my good man. And to you I bid adieu. And Avad, uh, some quick thoughts, I guess. Yeah, he's an all right, right char character. He's definitely got the freaking stories of the freaking scrolls are are assigned to, to think think about. Well, this whole story with Urza and all that, the rebellion, his father. But yeah, as him on on front with what, how we interact with him and all all that. He's not the most interesting of, of out of all the side characters, but he's all, he's all right. But anyway, on to the more more interesting, in my opinion, Aaron. Though not exactly being the fact that I know he's, he's kind of a bit more ba basic, but yeah, I know. I just like the big big lug head. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. If you would have killed Durval on the spot, I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. You gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? <laughs> you're yeah. asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Nope. Your don't give me too much credit. I love you, Aaron, but no. Quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. We have all the men crying, don't we, Aloy? I mean, we just reject rejected a king. I'm sure he's he's gonna be crying himself to sleep in his throne tonight. Um, but anyway. <laughs> 
So, so what now? So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. Fair, fair. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. And explosions. I'm willing to bet money that, that they're they're like the Viking Vi Vikings and they just set their 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 dead on fire. Maybe not on a boat, but they leave it on, on a on a slab of metal and then they add some fireworks or something like that and just <laughs> we'll try we'll try and cannons and, and some some shit like that where they fire it and, and just multiple explosions to the body is just disintegrated instantly. Something like that. I'm willing to bet money on it. But Durbo, what do you think the Oscar? What do you think the Oscar will do, do, do with that guy? Stuff. They'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. All right then. Understand? Understand more darkness right there, but yeah. Good no, good no, Naren. Till next we, next time we meet, which you know, will probably be so, something to do with the end of the world. Well, I know you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, and stopping the apocalypse a before lunch. Shot, talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. Ah, you better and Ah A good a good story a good story that I in, enjoyed and there are many many inclinations with uh, many things that affect the world overall when it comes to the tinkerer, the role, which we'll probably check out in, in, in a little bit later in this episode, maybe. But first, there's a machine that showed up at last time that that just flew across my, me and my, and my, and my lip, my favorite filler. Um, and. And now I do believe I should deal with the quest that presents them. A new machine. Hi there. It's you. The one who saved Meridian from that Osram lunatic. <laughs> Damned if you aren't a ray of sun on a dark day. Will you help me? Okay, so that just happened? spread around quickly. Mass I just murder. came here. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. I do also appreciate that where they appreciate where they like add the detail of like adding extra dialogue of things that affect the entire entire like tribe or or city or clan um like big stuff like that i do find that that in interesting and on how much they actually go into de detail about that with of how much that affects depending on how far you progress into the game how that deals deals with it um even with the dlc like not trying to spoil too much, you know, even though the game's been up for like what four years now. Um, that where stuff from the DLC you can get it, you can finish that, but there's some inclinations of some important details that you don't find out till later, into like the almost I think the end of the campaign, in the main campaign. <laughs> I wonder how much the dialogue changes in that when you find out just the stuff you find out. In the frozen wilds affects that oh well anyway dead guards murdered? How? don't know one was a buddy from before the liberation we worked this quarry together as slaves for the mad king my friend may he walk forever in the light knew how to fight fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers uh, maybe it was a machine? The machines have killed them. Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Mmm. Anything Did unusual? Anything strike you as strange anything or out of unusual. the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh, yeah. Chunks of corpses. Gushing blood. 
Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. No, nothing no I mean, yeah, I'm, well, I'm dealt like five mysteries already about people who murdered. And Saravad said, no, that's just stupid. Uh, exactly anything could be say? could be in, could. Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. Hmm. How about rocks breaking? I don't know how that alludes to anything or is any kind of a clever hint, but you know, I'm trying. You've been using explosives? Sure. To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff. We do it for a week or so every year. You know but what I just freaking realized the what these they things are? Torn apart, not blown up. I I can't believe I just I I just figured this out. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Well, people. We're about to fucking it. enter the scene for Tremors. Not even gonna be able to examine anything, am I? Things are just shaking. Yeah, oh, fucking <laughs> graboid! Fucking graboid! I can't believe it just took me this long to figure this out. Don't even get the freaking yeah, rock breaker. Yep. Freaking three jaw pieces right there. It's a fucking graboid. Oh, Jesus. Take out those engines of yours. Hi there. Oh, no. Ow. God damn it. Freaking lock you down if I can. If it doesn't just simply go straight into the ground. Right. Got it. Shit. I don't believe they can drill to the rock breakers. Right. Fucking should have been obvious, but no, not to this guy, cause I'm a dummy and that's blaze and I'll explode. Burn. But didn't really do fucking shit. Fuck. Yeah. No, 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 no. I am being denied critical need to know information when it comes to fighting this thing because I cannot remember how I how I used to deal with it. No 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 that didn't hurt me despite Aloy making the sound effect of her being of being hit. Okay, I do believe that threw it off and made it instantly disappear. What the hell? Please, I should get to the blaze canisters. I hope they freaking help. Fuck! You big bastard. Nope. Suck it. I don't even think I did anything. God damn it. Damn it. Come out of the fucking ground. There you go. Can I please blow up that sack of blaze on it? Okay, 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 that is not working. That is not working. We are going to try this now, and hopefully not get quite in. And you don't... Well, I hit it, you... In hit detection. You damn... It's a bitch! Especially when it when it's a big hunk of two... Five ton... Whatever ton metal. Just freaking landing right on top of me. Burn! Why won't it pop? Nah. I say to the pimple that is this fucking thing on my existence. What the? F How did that even work? You son of a bitch. You big, lunky son of a bitch. You are not that agile. That should not have worked. Fuck you. 
No, no, I'm gonna die. Help potion, help potion. I'm just jumping in place. Acting, not acting, I'm very scared. Just freaking. Stay right there. No, you will not be doing fronting spear attacks to me. No, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Show me your boobs. Show me your boobs. To Oh! Why me? Ooh. That did not hit me, you son of a bitch of a game. You fuck off! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mess you up, god. Did I really just attach you to a moving object? Man! Well, I thought he was about to be there. You fucking son of a bitch, he did that was not that close. He was not that close to me. God damn, give me a second. What the fuck? You? Fuck you. And I just broke. I just broke, of course. Right. Fuck me. Fuck me. Oh, you get who wins, then you just run, you just retreat back into the ground, you little bitch! Fuck you and your bullshit rock attacks! I proclaim that is bullshit! Go, I shot out of the ground, isn't he? I mean, that's what he usually does when I'm in, you know, leaping style, but I guess so, we're good. And we are making progress, which is good, and I don't press voice! And he hit them. Thank God. We are getting close here, people. people. One more, come on, come on. Yeah, right over here. Come here. Come here, you little bastard. Right over here. Come and get me! Yeah! Yeah! Fuck you! Rockbreaker. Sensitive to sound, this massive machine burrows underground and surfaces with, with devastating force. Like I said, Graboid. Now give me my shit for the, that, I, that I rightfully deserve. I've never seen a machine like that. Whoa, nor a hunter so bold. Take this. Thank you, I know. The quarry stores, but no one's going to argue that you don't deserve it. May they you better not. The light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. Uh, oh. Wonder. <sighs> well, guys, after all that, I think I'm going to leave it there. I know it wasn't that much, just one main quest and th then taking on that big-ass machine. I was hoping to do some more. But I think I want to prep for the next couple minutes, the next thing, couple things I do. Because next time, I think we're going to be collecting some trophies after taking care of that the, the one big motherfucker in the ground. I think it's time to take one, one big ass bird from the sky and one big ass lizard down to size. Next time. But anyway, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a like, and I will see all you guys in the next episode. John Glitch, signing off. Un until next time, big guy.